Hello Dick Van Dyke Show friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is KJ Bricardo and today's episode is a production spotlight on the casting of Rob Petrie. I'm going to do production spotlights every now and then on some behind the scenes history and facts on the making of the show. So a lot of this information comes from the official Dick Van Dyke Show book by Vince Waldron. This is a fantastic guide to the complete history of the Dick Van Dyke Show. So if you are interested in learning some more information, be sure to check out this book. So we're going to look at the casting of Rob Petrie. Of course, this goes to Dick Van Dyke. He's the star of the Dick Van Dyke Show. But there's a lot of behind the scenes history and facts about the casting of this character and how Dick Van Dyke got the part. So originally the Dick Van Dyke show was another sitcom titled Head of the Family. It was with creator and writer Carl Reiner starring in the lead role of this sitcom, but it eventually wasn't going to work. Producer Sheldon Leonard decided the show should be filmed in front of a live audience filmed with a theatrical three camera approach first invented on I Love Lucy. And so this ultimately changed how Carl Reiner would write the scripts acting more like a playwright. Eventually Carl had to step down from the lead role and the series would be revised to feature a new star. At the time they didn't know who that would be. Before Carl Reiner and Sheldon Leonard could begin casting the perfect Robert Petrie, they had to determine what they were looking for. Carl Reiner said, I knew it had to be somebody who didn't seem like a performer. Rob Petrie is a writer and he's very comedic, but he's not a comedian. Rob Petrie is a comedy writer, not a comedian, but he sure is funny. Carl Reiner and Sheldon Leonard first considered Johnny Carson, who was hosting the quiz show, Who Do You Trust? but they passed on the idea and Sheldon said, there's a guy in New York, he's doing Bye Bye Birdie on Broadway, his name is Dick Van Dyke. At the time, Dick Van Dyke was still largely unknown outside of New York and Broadway, but Sheldon saw his talent. Sheldon had been a fan of Dick's work since November 1959 when he saw Dick in the supporting cast of the Broadway show, The Girls Against the Boys. Sheldon made a mental note to look for a TV project for Dick Van Dyke. Well, that eventually happened. At first, Sheldon wanted to cast Dick as Danny Williams' son-in-law on The Danny Thomas Show, but he thought Dick was too old for the role. Danny attended a second show of Bye Bye Birdie, and he saw how Dick dazzled audiences as Albert Peterson. He knew Dick was the right person to play Rob Petrie. Sheldon called Carl Reiner and told him to get on an airplane right away and come to a show of Bye Bye Birdie. Carl Reiner immediately knew Dick Van Dyke was perfect for the role. Carl said, it was like a great marriage of actor and role that seemed completely accidental. But that was Sheldon Leonard. He was the great matchmaker. However, casting Dick Van Dyke in the role was still a huge risk. Prior to the Dick Van Dyke show, Dick had filmed about 12 pilots that had failed, including a variety show also called The Dick Van Dyke Show. It failed completely and Dick was considered for other projects and particularly ones where he fell down a lot. Dick met with Sheldon Leonard in 1960. He read three scripts of the show and he was sealed. Once he read Carl Reiner's writing, he was sold on the show. 
He then met with Carl and the rest was history. Dick found his TV show and it would be named after him. Dick's starting salary was $1,500 per episode with raises on the hopes of the show going beyond a single season. Dick was also signed to receive ownership shares, ensuring that he'll continue to revive income from the show's reruns. In addition, Dick was also installed as an official partner and co-owner of the new sitcom. Dick Van Dyke and the show's other owners formed a legal partnership called Calvada. If you're familiar with the Dick Van Dyke Show episode with Max Calvada, then that is exactly what that name comes from. It's an acronym for CA, Carl Reiner, L for Leonard, VA for Van Dyke, and DA, Leonard's business partner, Danny Thomas, who would become a stakeholder for the show. And that's it. That's all I have for you this week. I hope you learned some information about the casting of Robert Petrie. It's hard to imagine anyone else playing Robert Petrie except the lovable Dick Van Dyke. He is perfect for the role. Thank goodness Sheldon Leonard saw Dick's production of Bye Bye Birdie or else the show would be very different. The show might have starred Johnny Carson or some other person. It wouldn't have even been named the Dick Van Dyke Show. But Dick's comedic, charismatic, fun behavior is just a spark of joy on the screen and America fell in love with him and so the Dick Van Dyke Show really needed Dick Van Dyke to be successful and I think he was just perfect for the role. He is Robert Petrie and whenever I think of Dick Van Dyke I always just imagine Robert Petrie. And that's it. That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Let me know what you enjoyed best from this production spotlight. I will continue to highlight the other cast members and give information about how they were cast on the show. So be excited for those in the future. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time with another video. And remember to always laugh often.